One of my favorite cartoons is Frank and Ernest, and one time they were putting up a sign that said, Wanted, Lion Tamer. And the next several panels in the cartoon showed a lion tamer coming in, and then it showed him going out all beaten up and torn up and almost dead. And finally, after three or four of those, they put up a, another sign that said, Wanted, Tamer Lion. You know, the Bible tells us about our tongue and that it's a powerful beast that is capable of destroying all kinds of things and hurting all kinds of people. The Bible tells us in James chapter 3, verse 7, For every kind of beast and bird and reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by man. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Maybe you've been to the circus and you've seen the great acts where people tame elephants, tigers, and all kinds of wild exotic creatures. And it's amazing when you see what man is capable of doing with these wild animals. And yet there are two ironies in the verses that we just read from James chapter 3. First of all, it says that man can tame a lion, but he can't tame his tongue. And another irony that you read about in this text is that our tongue is that unruly evil, listen, full of deadly poison. Your tongue's right inside your mouth, and yet the Bible says that it's capable of being a, a deadly poison. You put a deadly poison in your mouth, you're going to die. But the irony here is that even though the deadly poison is in my mouth, it doesn't kill me. It kills and destroys others. So don't poison yourself and don't poison others.